Exposing spiritual teachers. Did you know that they can harness your energy through mass meditation? So this weekend, from November 10th to November 12th, I was at this event called Stairway to the Stars, hosted by Gaia. It's a disclosure fest in Las Vegas. And during one of the mass meditations in the morning, me and my friend who went were both psychic. We saw the same exact thing. These spiritual teachers were harnessing the audience's energy. Now, if you don't believe me, I was literally there. I took a picture. It says Stairway to the Stars right there. This is also me taking a picture with one of the speakers. I blocked both of them out because my friend is in that photo. I don't think she wants to be exposed. Oh, and also saw Bashar. But anyway, now that you know I'm not lying um, and I have proof that I was there, let me tell you what happened. Oh, the tea. It was the first day of the disclosure event or the Stairway to the Stars event. And they had a mass meditation in the morning and me and my friend, both of our intuitions were like, we have to go. We're going to see some interesting stuff. And we did. We both saw with our third eye because we're both psychic, on the stage, two 15 feet tall Draco reptilians standing there. And we looked at each other and we looked around and I'm pretty sure a couple of other people noticed, but majority of the people in the audience, where there were like 50 to maybe 70 people, they didn't notice the Draco reptilians. And then this woman, she was singing on stage and she was like, everybody put your palms up. What do you do when you, when you put your palms up like this? You are giving away your energy. Or at the very least, you're receiving somebody else's energy. You're like a beggar, right? And this woman, she said, put your palms up and let's meditate. Let's harness energy. And she starts singing about the Galactic Federation, which you guys know how I feel about them. Don't trust them. And all I saw with my third eye was were these clear tubes that were being attached to people's crown chakra and these two 15 feet tall Draco reptilians that were standing on the stage started eating up the energy. And so I got mad. I was like, oh, I knew this was going to happen because I was always very suspicious of certain spiritual teachers. And so with my astral body, I guess you could say I started concentrating on cutting the cords. I literally cut the cords one by one. And here's the freakiest part. On the stage, there was another spiritual teacher. He wasn't saying much. He was just closing his eyes and meditating. And all of a sudden, his eyes open. And, and out of everybody in the crowd, he looks at me and my friend and just keeps staring at us. Because he knew what I was doing. And because he also knew that we both saw what they were doing. So after I cut the cords and I made sure people were not giving away their energy to these freaking traitors, these like a lot of these spiritual teachers they work for the dark orion fleet or the fallen angelics whatever you want to call them and they know it some don't know it oh but these they know it and it's interesting how this event went on in the luxor hotel in las vegas which is shaped like a pyramid how much more anunnaki draco reptilian can you get but anyway after that event me and my friend we were walking down um the hotel to get lunch and then we saw the same spiritual teacher whose eyes just opened like that and looked at us and he had the creepiest smile on his face and he just waved at us like a robot like it's almost like a passive aggressive like hey I, I saw what you were doing there the fact that he opened his eyes and just looked at us and only looked at us not a coincidence he knew that I knew that we knew that he knew now I'm not saying all spiritual teachers are bad I believe Bashar is a very, very good spiritual teacher. And I also believe the guy that I took a photo with that I blocked out is also a very good spiritual teacher. There are people who are doing this genuinely from their heart. But then there are others who are feeding your energy to entities you don't even know the name of. This is a warning for you all. If you're going to do a mass meditation, make sure you vet out the leaders, the spiritual leaders that are doing these mass meditations. Make sure your third eye is wide open. Make sure you have discernment because your energy is precious. Do not feed your energy to these Draco reptilians, fallen angelics, Anunnaki, crazy people. If you want to learn more about how these Anunnaki Draco reptilians infiltrated the human collective and what they exactly want from us, I expose them in my book, it is linked in my bio. My book's title is Made in God's Image. My book will also help you to have more discernment about the spiritual community and exactly who you listen to because not everything is love and light. Evil exists, people. It's time to wake up.